Right, welcome to this tutorial series on automating your Darwin trading strategies. If you've been with us so far in the Darwin API tutorial series, you'll see that we've covered everything in terms of API console usage, endpoints, implementation in Python, uh, accessing and acquiring data, trading, getting and setting account related information, and streaming data. We've also added analytics capabilities to this project whereby you now have scripts available to access the raw Darwin analytics data provided in the FTP repository by DarwinX and import that information directly into your Python environments without the need to physically download the entire data repository. We're now going to cover the subject of automation uh, with specific focus on the Windows Server 2012 operating system on AVPS. So in terms of automating your Darwin trading strategies, this would arguably be a topic that one would cover at the end of a tutorial series, since we're still ongoing in the Darwin API series. But given that some of you may already have developed your trading strategies or other research uh, programs, it makes sense to have a video series on the subject of automation, which isn't uh, immediately straightforward when one approaches it as far as Windows Server 2012 is concerned, but with these tutorials you should hopefully be able to achieve this very easily and quickly. So we'll cover the subject matter in four separate tutorials and these will include setting up a Miniconda 3 distribution. Our focus here will be automating a Python driven trading strategy using the Darwin API. In that Miniconda 3 distribution, we'll cover the subject of installation and configuration for subsequent use in your strategy. The next tutorial will be on strategy setup and configuration. The third tutorial will cover batch scripting, whereby we'll write a few lines of batch script in order to automate um, our strategy's execution uh, using a custom Conda environment that we'll also talk about. We'll cover setting variables, accessing variables, calling variables, accessing custom conda environments and uh, the relevant python executables to use if you're using a custom conda environment and finally we'll cover scheduled tasks where we'll use the windows task scheduler and create ourselves a task with a name and description a program path to our batch script that we'll have written in the previous tutorial the execution schedule to set up and any manual testing that you'd like to do in order to make sure that your scripts will run on time as you've set them in the schedule manually during this testing phase.